accompanied by another lead sponsor of this resolution, Senator Martha McSally of Arizona. I'm honored now to invite Senator McSally to join the podium and share her words as a champion for glioblastoma awareness and perseverance. Thank you so much for being here, Senator. Thank you. Well, I'm so grateful uh, to be here with you all, and this is sort of bittersweet for me as well, because literally the only reason that I'm here serving at this moment is because we no longer have Senator John McCain. And so I don't take that mantle on many fronts uh, lightly. And so it's an honor and a responsibility uh, that I continue to be a megaphone and join with my teammates here in Lindsay, Kirsten, uh, Mitch, Elizabeth, who did I forget? Uh, I think it was, uh, who, who are co original co-sponsors on this legislation. Uh, I was a, a fighter pilot in the Air Force, uh, so this has uh, certainly not been a career for me. Uh, it's a continuation of my service to come deploy to Washington, D.C. But as I served in the House and now in the Senate, I often talk about how we have a legislative role, uh, and we also have an oversight role, and we have a platform role. And so today, with Glioblastoma Awareness Day, we combined our legislative role with our platform role. Uh, so that we can be a voice and a megaphone to continue to raise awareness of this deadly disease and the impact that it has on so many people in our country and our communities uh, and their families. Uh, we can raise awareness so people understand it. Um, my chief of staff, actually, his mom passed from this disease. So we were connected in our family, in our office, um, by this uh, long before uh, Senator McCain's uh, awful diagnosis happened. Uh, and that's where my awareness started to be raised because I didn't know much about it, like a lot of people. Uh, and when I visited with um, patients and constituents and families uh, in Arizona, both there and here, uh, they also brought to my attention, it made sense, because of the deadly nature of this disease and the challenges that we've had despite all the effort and all the research to, to hardly move the needle that much. We don't have, like with other cancers, we don't have large constituencies of walks and fly-ins and all that of people coming to share those stories. But we need to change that. And that's going to start with our commitment today. It's not started today, but we've got to double down and we've got to remain committed today uh, with this day and this awareness and this group of people, all of us, coming together to do what we need to do uh, in order to change the future. Uh, I had the blessing to be able to visit the Ivy Brain Tumor Center uh, right uh, there in Phoenix, Arizona, uh, which is really on the front lines, I think, of you know, cutting edge research, phase zero trials, really trying to kind of break things up uh, in order to provide more options to people very quickly, not through the slow snail's pace that often happens with clinical trials, but do it fast and do it effectively. And I think it's that kind of innovation, plus our commitment, plus the dollars, plus the level of effort and the awareness that we all need to make sure uh, happens, because we can beat this cancer. We can cure this. We can provide more treatment to people. Because also, we, and you know, if we're able to do that, and the researchers will tell you, then it's going to impact all other cancers, because this is by far the most complex uh, that, that they're dealing with. And so we are with you. We are your wingmen and your wing women uh, in this fight. Our prayers are with you. The resources that we will dedicate to this are with you. And we will continue to be a megaphone and a platform and be your voice for your loved ones who are with you, uh, those who we are, are no longer are with us because they have been impacted by this disease, uh, so that there is no more sorrow from this disease and from the news that people get uh, from getting that phone call. Uh, so God bless you all. Thank you so much for all you do. And it's an absolute honor to be able to be serving in this legacy and to be a voice for all of you on this.